Uh, with the tier one. Oh, wait a second. Okay, they messed up even worse. I can use a homemade. What's going on, guys? I'm Akim Savitz here, and today we are back on the Archon for Outlands Episode 4. And, well, we have a little bit of an issue. This is the biggest or the largest mistake I have ever made when making videos. Um, on Saturdays, I record HGF. I record Start of the World. So I delete all of my clips on my computer. And I recorded my Outlands video last week because I upload Outlands every Wednesday. And I didn't render it. So I deleted all of the clips for it by accident. Except for the one that the title was about because that was on my desktop. So I have to re-record this entire video. And it's now wipe two. And I had an amazing video for you guys. And I am now recording this video twice. So please hit the like button, click the subscribe button, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. Also, if you guys want to play on the Archon, make sure to join using my IP, imake.archonhq.net. And also, if you guys want a free recruit rank, make sure to go on Outlands, go to the store, go to the ranks, go to the recruit, type in the code imakemcvids or use the, the imakemcvids YouTuber code on the website, and you get a free $10 rank. Wait, are you joking? Did I just find another one? They messed up on their base. I can save C4, but it's gonna cost me two C4 um, because I'm gonna have to place it on the block. It's like they were building the farm and forgot to remove the block under it. I can literally get into this base with two C4. I just have to find a way on top of this. So the issue with this base is uh, with the tier one. Oh, wait a second. Okay, they messed up even worse. I can use a homemade. So let's place the homemade right there and that'll break the trap door and I'll get straight into this base. I was gonna have to use two C4 because if I placed one, this would break and this would be tier one and I'd have to, I'd have to place two. That's what I was saying, but I'm in the base and there's a logger in here. Please have some decent stuff and oh my Lord, we got some good stuff already. We got a bunch of recipes. We got the stack of med kits, almost 46 leather. Over here we got, oh my Lord, th two more stacks of leather. Uh, up here, two more stacks of leather, one explosive. Then we had five iron doors, explosive, concrete. Uh, I really need to look through all this stuff, make sure I'm not missing anything. Let's try to use these repair kits on our armor just so we have more inventory space. We got Kevlar boots, anything in the furnaces, nothing that I can see. And this chest, what's in here? Nothing, did I already open that? Let's try to kill the logger. He only had a four set on. Uh, nothing really good in his inventory. Let's try and throw all that stuff out. What's in these chests? We got 19 more leather, some more small med kits. Uh, down here, we got 34 wooden bases, AS50, uh, mining quarry fuel in that furnace, nothing. More leather, three more stacks of leather. So much leather inside this base. Oh, we got a repair axe as well. Anything else in here? Soldier gear. Oh, a crossbow mythic? I don't know if that's that good, honestly. Uh, one more explosive. Uh, Kevlar boots again. That's uncommon. Another stack of leather. How much leather did we get out of this base? Over a row of leather. That is very good for only one homemade. I, I completely forgot we only used one homemade for this. This raid would have been worth it if it was 2C4. They really had nothing in the furnaces. That surprises me. I'm just going to look over all this loot one more time, make sure I got everything, but this was definitely worth it. I need to take this cloth as well because it's used to make C4. So I'm back on the server now, and I actually just got a huge donation from MF Doom, and Flexless uh, was nice enough to go ahead and invite me to his clan. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to invite me to their base or not, but I'm just trying to get set up so I can get this video done for you guys because like I said, I'm just, so, I'm mad. Uh, honestly, I am so mad that I lost that last video. I don't think anything's gonna touch what the last one was, uh, but like I said, a huge shout out to MF Doom and thank you Flexless uh, for letting me join your clan or join your base. This guy just offered to give me some homemades and fuses, uh, which honestly is really gonna help us because we don't have any of this right now. So uh, thank you for that. We might be able to get a raid already. Wait, what? this guy's name is I Make You're Mad. Why did you just shoot at me? You really trying to truce with me now after you just tried to shoot me? I guess I'm gonna take a screenshot with him. Wait a second. I could blow into this base. I don't know what that thing is in the corner over there. It looks like something new. There's chest though. This is only a one C4, one homemade base. And it looks like you did a good amount of stuff. 
I don't know why they did this with their doors though, because you can break the furnace from the top. Like you can jump and break it. So let's go ahead and place down a C4. And now we'll place a homemade after that. And I should be able to get into this base. They have a ladder going to the top as well, it seems. Let's go ahead and place the homemade. Is there a top? Could I have gotten him from the roof? And the homemade worked on the first try and we are in. What is this? I have no idea what that is. That's something new. Let's go ahead and break their bed. What, oh, we picked up the bed now after breaking it. Open the chest. Nothing really inside the chest that we opened. We got an M14, a Thompson. That, that gun looks a lot different than what it used to be. Uh, open that. Nothing there. Nothing. Wow. The only thing we got was an M14. And there was something that goes to the top of the base, but it goes nowhere. Let's just take some of the logs. We can take the iron door as well. And then anything in this furnace? Nothing in the furnace. Oh my lord. Oh no, slash bed. Okay, we just got out of here. Someone just tried to steal our raid. I just found this base that I kind of want to raid. And they really messed up. They made multiple walls, which is smart. But they only have two doors. So if I were to place a, a C4 and a homemade, I could get past this door. Uh, when normally a door is 2C4. And then if I placed a C4 and a homemade right there, I could get past that door because of the wall. You can literally bypass like two walls because of their doorway. They, they should have put multiple doors. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my inner chest, get a C4, place it down, and we're going to raid this base. So we place the homemade down. Hopefully it ends up, it did work. Let's go. So like I said, if we just walk through here, okay, what is going on? For some reason, it's not letting me go past the door. Okay, there we go. I should be able to place the C4 right here. There we go. And that should work on this wall right here. And I'll be able to get an entire base. Dude, there is actually so many chests in here. And they have tier five blocks. Oh, we just got in. Okay, I'm being glitched out. Open the first one, nothing really in that. Let's go ahead and take this ax out so I can break the chest. And we're inside the entire base. It looks like this base was already raided. What is going on? One leather. It's like they moved all the stuff from this base. Oh, we got some stuff here. Let's go. AK-47 weapon, tier two blocks, some soldier stuff, FNFAL. Uh, there's some rare and legendary recipes in here. Diamond sword recipe, nothing there. Over here, nothing, nothing. Are you joking? It looks like this base was already raided, but it wasn't. Like, I think they just changed bases. They had some okay stuff in the first chest over here, but... Everything else was really just trash. Let's try and take all this stuff. We'll take the soldier set as well as it is. It's it's a rare soldier set. That's pretty decent. But everything else is taken out of this base, man. That sucks. I found another base that I kind of want to raid, but it has a spruce door, so we're going to have to go through the walls. It has an iron door behind it. I think it's double layered, but I see a lot of chests in there. So I'm going to go ahead and place down the C4 on the first wall, and hopefully all my homemades end up working because I don't think I have a homemade recipe. Yes, the first homemade ended up working. And then after this, we should get straight into the base. So let's place down another C4 and let's place down the last homemade. And I'm almost about to die. Holy crap. If someone came up behind me, I would have just died there. So the last homemade, which should get us into the base and we are in. First chest has nothing. Please don't be assigned for the rest of the base. Over here. Oh, okay. We got some stuff now. We're making some profit. Nothing really too crazy. Soldier recipe, chest, animal buff, bunch of, uh, you know, chopping axes and stuff like that. Nothing in this chest. Uh, wait a second. They messed up. I can break that chest, break the crafting table, and I can just walk right over here. Nothing in that chest. Anything in this one. Please have something. What? What? I can't open this chest. Did I actually just raid this base and they had nothing but this in it? We got some repair kits, efficiency one, uh, pickaxe. We got some nice axes and stuff, but it looks like we didn't get anything because I can't break this chest. Oh wait, I can. What? <laughs> um, there wasn't anything in it though. And what? I'm so confused. I think I found a final base that I'm gonna raid. I see a logger inside there. Let's go ahead and place down the C4 and we have one homemade left. So hopefully this homemade, wait, the turret is on top of the base. All right, let's see. Place down the homemade. Let's get into this base and let's see what this guy has. And the homemade worked and this has a lot of chests inside. Break his bed, kill the logger. He only had a forest set on it seems. What's inside this chest? We got 12 cloth or 12 leather, 22 cloth. My bad. Uh, I already have the sulfur from me. Uh, we got nothing in that chest really. We got some rifle ammo. We got an M14. Uh, we got some more cloth, small med kits. Cloth is good too, by the way. It helps make C4. Oh, 
and we got some good stuff in here large med kit we got a stack of sulfur stack of iron half a stack of iron some stone down here we got some more iron uh repair kits small med kits some more good stuff i think that's 34 leather i just saw as well nothing really else inside of this base is there a top part that just goes to the outside in the furnace we got some iron and let's go ahead and raid the tc Come on, let's see. Are we going to get any points from this? Rate it. We got no points. We downgraded the base, though. I'm just going to go over all of the loot again and see that and make sure that we got everything. Obviously, tier two blocks. I forgot that. Let's try to put some of this stuff inside my backpack. But this was a decent raid. I'd say this is better than the other ones. We used a lot less materials than the other ones as well. Uh, so it was definitely, I don't know if it was worth it, but it was definitely worth the materials that we got because we can add that to my clan uh, to get points, obviously and hopefully help them get to the clan top. And there was an XP buff in here as well, a, a legendary crossbow. I have never seen one of those before, actually. So let's go ahead and slash bed, and that is gonna be it for today's episode. This honestly took a very long time to record because I had to get set back up, get some donations and stuff, uh, because like I said, the last video that I had made, I accidentally deleted, and that took me three days to record. So add on this time that it took to record, I think it was like, it wasn't really all day to day because I had to go out and uh, do some uh, stuff outside of my house. So I had to come back, you know, talk to people, play for like six hours on here uh, to get set up and stuff. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Peace out.